Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here, and today we're revealing some bugs, demystifying the hitboxes, and showing you which armor types are likely best to use in patch 14's armor rework. There are ultimately three layers to this system. Firstly, your PMC's hit zones and associated health pools. The second being the inbuilt or soft armor layer provided by various rigs and armors. And thirdly, the replaceable plates that sit over the top of everything else. As per the patch notes from BSG, our PMC's hit zones are now divided up into more pieces than before, so the old Thorax hitbox now comprises of four zones in the new system. Thorax, which is now just the front part, a left and right side, and the upper back. The stomach is mostly similar to this as well, now represented by stomach, which is just the front section in the new system, and again the two sides, and the lower back this time. But underneath the stomach hitbox in the pelvic area between the regular stomach layer and the legs, we now have groin at the front and buttocks at the back as well, so two more hitboxes which are also connected to the stomach's HP pool. As well as these, we also have the controversial neck hitbox, which due to its connection to the head HP pool, practically extends the headshot area on a PMC lower than it was before. This can be protected with some limited armor when neck is present on the armor points dropdown. This corresponds to throat at the front and neck at the back. This is a good place to show our first test on how the system works. Soft armor covers the whole area that is listed in the armor areas dropdown, regardless of what the armor looks like, so it's basically the old system but using the more granular armor areas instead to give greater precision than before. What this means is that you can shoot visually into the neck area of a PMC, but if the armor that they are wearing gives neck protection, then this armored piece will get a chance to catch the bullet despite not looking like it's present on that area of the body. We tested this using 9mm Green Tracer, a Gazelle Armor, which is one of the vests with neck protection, and a Tegilla face shield to prevent unfortunate deaths to the jaws. But you can see each time that the Gazelle takes one durability minimum damage to the Arabid neck piece and nothing else. Interestingly, you actually do get concussed if a neck shot is defended against, presumably because the neck is linked to the head HP pool, so it just acts like preventing around anywhere else on the head like it would with a helmet. Another example is on the shoulder hitbox. You can shoot into the visually unprotected section and get caught by the shoulder soft armor. So the conclusion here is that the soft armor protects you based on what it says in the tooltip, not what it actually looks like. Basically, it's impossible to hit unprotected neck if you do have neck protection on your armor, and likewise, it's impossible to hit killer in the eyes without going through the face shield first because it protects the eyes hitbox. So what about the replaceable plates then? These are further hitboxes layered over the top of the armor system and do have their own specific hitbox that, when we think about the front plate in particular, covers part of the thorax hitbox and part of the stomach hitbox at the same time, as you would expect by looking at them. However, these plate hitboxes are smaller than the thorax and the stomach and don't go all of the way to the edge. For the western style plates, the trooper armor is a pretty good indication of how they work, with the plate protecting until close to the edge of the armor itself. When you shoot right at the edge, you start hitting soft armor instead, which protects either the thorax or stomach hitboxes depending on how far down you are shooting. One critical thing to understand about this new system is that there is a gap between the top of the armored plate and the neck hitbox where the thorax can be shot at with only soft armor, i.e. class 2 or 3 protection at best if you've got a carrier that supports replaceable plates, but that gap isn't all that large. Something else interesting too is that the western armors have a different armor plate hitbox to the alternative form factor eastern ones. The closest armor to represent the diamond shaped plate hitbox is the 6B13, which you can see the stitching around the outside of and broadly shows the area that you can shoot to hit the plate versus the soft armor around it. At the top however, the front plate ends just around this stitching here, which actually leaves a bigger gap between the front plate and the neck with the lower protection thorax in the middle than the western plates. Compared to the trooper plate hitbox, you can see that there is a difference. It might not be that big to look at, but in practice these are the areas that are getting shot at the most, and given that we're talking about protecting the thorax hitbox with either classes 2 and 3 for soft, or potentially 4, 5 and 6 with hard plates, it is fairly meaningful. If you weren't already convinced, additionally the western plates are much more square at the top corners. The way that the 6B13 cuts in around the shoulder reveals even more soft only thorax hitbox around the edge. On the flip side, the 6B13 style plate protects a lot more of the stomach as it extends downwards so far, but obviously due to the way that Tarkov works, my advice would be to use the western style plate armors where possible to get the most thorax coverage that you can. 
Now, a very subtle detail to notice is that you can tell in the menu which armors and plates use which hitbox, as if we again look at the armor area's tooltip, the square western style plates cover the zone FR dot plate, whereas something like the 6P13 covers F plate instead. This distinguishes which is which directly in the interface. The reason this is particularly intriguing is that it's very likely that all plates with the same plate area coverage location have the same hitbox, especially on the front, which BSG said themselves in the patch notes. The hit registration zones of ballistic plates of the same format have the same position in all body armor and plate carriers with slots for this plate format. There is one exception to this that we have found so far regarding side plates, but we'll come to that in a moment. With further testing, this in fact becomes extremely clear when we take a look at the 6B23-2. This is one of the only armors compatible with two different form factors of plate, which are the diamond-shaped plate and the two-part triangle over square one that you get in the 6B23-1 by default. As this takes both, we can check the hitbox by shooting it where it differs the most, the bottom square section. Firing down the 6B23-2 with the diamond plate installed, we found that the hitbox finishes pretty much where the first main section of the armor visually ends, and by swapping over to the other form factor plate with the double segments, upon firing at exactly the same place, we also hit soft armor as well. Above this is plate again, and this is as good a guarantee as any that the hitboxes for these plates are in fact the same at the front if they have the same armor area despite looking different. Another cool detail about the modular armors in terms of hit areas is that on some carriers, the Aramid soft armor is actually aligned to the plate hitbox and not to the regular thorax one. Again, you can see this using the dropdown. The trooper, for example, is of the regular style with thorax and stomach, upper and lower back, and front plate back plate. When the plates are removed, the thorax remains because the soft armor covers this hitbox. On a rig like the MMAC though, even with plates in, this shows only left, right, front plate and back plate, there's no thorax to be seen. On top of this, rather than the front and back plate areas disappearing when you take out the removable plates, these armor areas stay. And this is because the chest and back inbuilt aramid sections on the MMAC are aligned to the front and back plate hitboxes instead of thorax and upper chest. Looking at the armor, this makes total sense. The soft armor does only cover the plate hitbox because it's really just a pouch for the plate to go into. But unfortunately, this means that the area on the trooper that is protected by class two outside of the plates is entirely unprotected on an armor like the MMAC. I'll put the list on screen of all the armors that I have found that are like this. And to be honest, I just avoid them completely for the time being, unless you literally have nothing else. Now that we understand most of the system, it's time to take a look at the press vest. This has been increasingly referred to as being bugged by many players, saying that your PMC takes basically full damage from bullets incoming on the front plate, and to be honest, it's easy to see why. If we mouse over the default Juk 3 press on Skier, the armor area that is missing is the F dot plate that we'd expect to see from this form factor of armor, and indeed, if we go into the detail view on the plate itself, it's also missing here as well. But when we look at the plate outside of the press vest, it does have the F dot plate armor area. We went and tested this one both with Green Tracer and M855, and indeed, the soft armor gets damaged from the front with the plate itself not being interacted with at all. The back plate works as expected because this is listed properly on the armor areas, but what we can conclude from this is that the Juk 3 press is simply missing the F dot plate armor area as a possible hitbox. For now, don't use it, and no plate that you put in the front of the Juk press will work. So the next one that I have to show you is regarding side armor. We tested two things here, namely the coverage around the body, i.e. the gap between the front plate and the side plate that reveals the stomach and whether they can cover the thorax. The answer to the second part is pretty easy and the answer is no. The plate hitbox finishes just as the side hitbox begins, so you're really only protecting the sides of the stomach. This does limit the value of side armor quite a bit, however, given that they are typically some of the cheapest plates that you can buy, often it's worth just sticking them in once you've unlocked them from the traders. For example, you can buy a class 5 ceramic side plate from Peacekeeper 3 for just $76, which seems pretty good to me. As for the gap, it turns out that there is a section of unprotected stomach between the front plate and the side plate, which allows bullets into the soft armored section without hitting a plate at all. The quirk that I mentioned about side plates earlier becomes apparent on the Zabralla, which interestingly has lower side plates than the regular Western armors when tested against an Osprey. This covers less of the stomach and more of the two lower hitboxes, groin and buttocks, depending on exactly where you shoot. But the interface doesn't distinguish between Western and Eastern side protection on the armor zone's mouse over, like it does for the front plate, so you can't tell that these are different based on the name alone. One piece of armor that we haven't talked about yet, but turns out to be actually pretty important, is the shoulder. 
The new system makes these much more viable than they used to be, but of course we're talking exclusively about class 2 and 3 because it's all soft armor there and there are no plates. Testing the hitboxes specifically, this seems to cover from around the elbow up to near the top of the arm, and one note here is that due to what we said before about soft armor covering the entire stated hitbox, even shooting up into the arm from underneath interacts with the shoulder soft armor as we would expect. This is despite there being no model for armor in those locations. Unfortunately, this means that shoulder protection doesn't help directly if you get shot in the side of the chest, because there is no armor that protects this thorax side hitbox specifically, or the armpit hitbox, which itself appears to be a subdivision of the side thorax. But what it does do is it helps prevent arm penetrations that subsequently hit the chest afterwards. As it turns out, you need decent penetration on the incoming bullets to do this even with no armor. We tested it to be approximately over 40, but shots do go through the arm and into the thorax with alarming regularity. If you have shoulder protection activated, this gives some level of damage mitigation which may or may not help depending on the bullet. Unfortunately, being class 3 at best, many of the bullets that this can happen to will just go through anyway, but it's certainly better than having nothing there. A weird thing to note about the shoulder armor is that it's currently assigned to the wrong shoulder, as in if you shoot the right shoulder then the left armor takes damage and vice versa. Practically this makes no actual difference in a raid, but it's just confusing if you aren't aware of it and you're looking at the armor later. Also, as has been tested elsewhere as well, due to the reduction in the arm hitbox, you can shoot through the visual model but underneath the arm's collider, which avoids the shoulder hitbox entirely and makes it possible to directly damage the side of the thorax from the front, even when the arms look like they're in the way. So, after this massive dump of information, what are the overall takeaways? Firstly, I'd rather have a preference for Western armor plates when it comes to replaceable armors. These have both a tighter hitbox at the top and a wider one at the top corners, which reduces the amount of soft armor covering the thorax that is shootable without a plate being over the top. You can see which front armor hitbox is being used on an armor by checking the armor areas. FR.plate means Western style, and F.plate means the diamond style in the Eastern armor. Some rigs don't have soft armor covering the thorax directly, and instead have it covering the plate hitbox, which are to be avoided. Likewise, don't use the press at the moment because it is currently bugged so that the front plate doesn't interact with incoming bullets. The side hitboxes cover the sides of the stomach but can be slightly higher or lower depending on the armor and they do leave a gap between them and the front plate where the stomach can be shot at on soft armor only. Finally, shoulder protection is pretty nice to have and it can help mitigate some of the damage dealt when high pen bullets travel through the arm and into the side of the thorax, potentially even saving your life in certain circumstances. I'll be looking at more penetration and protection of the plates themselves in the near future, but so far I've seen plenty of strange and inconsistent outcomes across a variety of situations in the community, which seems like it's going to take some time to understand what is actually going on. So next, to go and beat these armors, go and check out my video on the best level 2 trader weapons, otherwise as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, and as always, have fun in your raids.